they're nearly extinct and they breed very slowly. At the moment the population is about 27 percent of the numbers that they were in the 1970s. Hector's dolphins are now the rarest dolphins in the seas. Many dolphin species you'd expect there to be tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of individuals. Researcher Liz Sloten has been studying them for more than 25 years. Hector's dolphins, there are only just over 7,000 individuals. Unlike other dolphins, Hector's live within a few miles of shore, which puts them in direct conflict with humans. That first 10 or 20 miles offshore where the dolphins are concentrated is also the area where most human activities occur. The size of a small child, Hector's are the world's smallest dolphins. A beautiful uh, coloured little dolphins. Hector's dolphins are only found in New Zealand, which is pretty special. I mean, many other dolphin species are found either right around the world or have much larger distributions. Sloten studies Hector's around New Zealand's South Island. North Island has the only other population, a subspecies called Maui's dolphins, or North Island Hector's. The Maui's now number only about a hundred animals. The greatest threat without any doubt is fishing. Trawl nets are one of the dangers to Hector's and Maui's. This is a net that's dragged through the water column and what the dolphins are doing with those nets is they are literally feeding on fish that are being stirred up by the net. Hector's only eat small fish, the bycatch which fishermen don't want. There's very little conflict between the dolphins and the fishermen in terms of what species they use. And luckily, trawl nets have thick mesh, which Hector's can see. So in the case of trawl fishing, dolphins are very aware that the net is there, and they are almost certainly aware that this is a dangerous thing to be doing. Any mistake is potentially fatal, but far more lethal are gill nets, which have very fine mesh and are set not dragged. Most of them get entangled in gill nets, which are like a wall of netting that sits in the water and is difficult but not impossible for them to detect. Hectors and Maui's often blunder right into them as they swim along the shore. The result is a decimated species, rapidly declining. We know for a fact that gill net fishing on its own is enough to cause these declines. Unfortunately, Hectors and Maui's reproduce at a rate of only about 2% a year. A sustainable human impact would be about 10 dolphins per year, and the National Institute for Water and Atmosphere has estimated that we were catching between 110 and 150 of these dolphins per year during the years 2000 to 2006. Dolphin safe techniques have been tried. But there's no way really that we can modify gill nets. So the New Zealand government has created protection zones where the dolphins live. And in several areas there's very good protection, but there are some areas where the protection doesn't go far enough offshore and other areas where the harbours are not included. So the protection is still incomplete. And the fishing industry has challenged those protections in the courts. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.